Hello everyone, my name is Gustavo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to register for the All Ability Try for Youth Triathlon. So the step number one is to go to your internet browser and then go to Fact Oregon. That is factoregon.org. Once you have made it to the home page, hover over the Trainings and Events menu and click on the second option, the All Ability Try for Youth. On this page, participants and volunteers can sign up for the event, and you can find details such as the times, locations, and dates for the event, a video from last year's event, a section with frequent questions and answers for parents and athletes, some more athlete information, photos, a map for the course, and then videos of athletes actually completing the course. So we're going to go ahead and register as a participant for the event. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the register for the Try for Youth button. We have individual athlete registration, youth team member, and then family team member. And then we also have some notes that you should definitely check out before you register. And down below, we have more ticket options. For this example, I'm going to select the second option, the individual athlete registration, the fair payment with fundraising. And down below, I go ahead and fill in the information. Once I've completed the required information, don't forget to read the terms and conditions. Then I'm going to select yes, I agree, and then continue. The next page is asking me to provide more information about the people who will be attending this event. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the required information. Once the required information has been completed, I click Next. The next page is the event registration summary. Right here, I'll make sure that everything that I've selected is correct and accurate. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click Complete Registration. Then I'm presented with the payment option. Here, I can pay with a credit card, so I can pay the fee right away. But in my case, I'm going to select the pay later option because I chose to defer the payment and to fundraise the registration costs. Once I select the pay later, down below, I'm going to click on the I will mail in a check. Don't worry about this option. If you manage to fundraise the cost of the event, which in this case is $35, you will not be charged anything. Then I will click in submit. And that's all there is to it. You will be sent an email with more information. And make sure you check the frequent questions and answers sections if you have more questions.